Welcome to My Body Science. Today on the couch we have uh, Benny Ross, 173 first grade games. Probably a little bit more if you didn't spend more time suspended. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad stint. Uh, what have we got? Sharks, South, Penrith. And dragons. And dragons, of course. Yeah. 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 You got around, mate. Yeah, you got around. You got around. <laughs> and uh, Holly Louise is our uh, my, body spy, my Body Science expert uh, and also our pharmacist, a registered pharmacist as well, too. So, Ben, basically what we're doing is uh, it's your chance to have the opportunity to work out what happens with your 12 week program, your goals, what you want to do. You've obviously had a, a fair few injuries, a uh, significant neck injury, yeah. and um, the more famous viral one with your the broken arm. Little arm. Yeah. yeah. So, well, it's good. It's. Um, it's a chance for me, like I said, as you, know, you said, I don't know where I want to be and it's a good opportunity for me to chat and, and find out what I want to do. So you sort of came through rugby league when it was a bit more of that professional aspect where you, you had your trainers, your dietitians, um, help with your supplements, but a lot of it was, here's a plan, that's it. So post-football, what happens to you as a footballer? Yeah, and you, you forget that we train seven days a week, 24 hours a day kind mm. of thing, so we could eat whatever we wanted still and, and be ripped and strong and... Mm. Um, Leaving that bubble and going into a work environment where I'd now sit behind a computer nine, ten hours a day, it's sort of, you forget that you, you've got to train and you've got to eat better and, yeah, and I love my chocolates and alcohol and, <laughs> and so all those things compounded. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and so yeah, before you know it, six months later, you, you're a balloon. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a good opportunity for me to get back into, I suppose, uh, the wellness area. Like, my well-being suffered because of it all and yeah. I want to get back. Well, mental health obviously is heavily affected by if you're not eating right, you're not training right, and you are sort of stuck in that sort of that slot. You're obviously still getting a few more operations with your arm. Yeah, and that's, and that's the thing. It's um, yeah, my mental health really struggled because the confidence factor is that I put on a lot of weight after breaking my arm because I can't exercise. And um, yeah, one more operation to go after after this 12 week stint, I'll go have the operation, so I'm in in a pretty good shape before it. But yeah, and see where that goes from there. So at the moment, the, co the common hurdles for you are injuries, yeah. time. Time. What else? Food. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that I love my food, I don't want to give up things. I don't want to give yep. up some of the sugars. And God, I, I love a Sunday afternoon where I can go and have pizza or, and a few beers. So ho hopefully I can mix and match and, and know when I've got to train and how I've got to eat, but they still have, have the fun stuff as well. Yeah. So what do you got a common day for you? What are you eating and drinking? It varies. Okay. I could wake up at six o'clock in the morning and work constantly until eight o'clock at night and not have a single meal mm -hmm. or not even have water. So those kind of things, wow. I, I, I really need. <laughs> We've had a lot like, of work oh, you just was like, <laughs> and, yeah. and that's probably the big thing is, as you see with most footballers now and most sports people, it's so structured. They know when they've got to eat, when they've got to do things, and time gets away from me. So I don't plan for anything, and just I'm happy with working away and not eating. And of course, that does metabolism slows down. I know that for a fact. Yeah. And, yeah, and then I go home and eat three meals in, in one meal at the end of the night. Mm. Yeah, so there's a lot of, I know I've got to improve and yeah, I hope that I can show the journey of the 12 weeks where I actually learn to get back into that routine. So I can hear your head ticking from here. <laughs> <laughs> so how can, how can the My Body Science work with Ben? Well, My Body Science is awesome because it's all about educating and that's exactly what we need to do to help you reach your goals. So essentially knowledge is power when it comes to achieving any sort of health and fitness related goal. So with the My Body Science platform, free online platform, all you need to do is answer a simple questionnaire. Based on your responses, you will actually receive your own custom nutrition and training program that's customized to your lifestyle. So if you can only train three days a week, you'll get a three day training program. If you can't get to the gym, you can have a home training program. Um, if you travel a lot, you can get uh, a, a program to follow and hotel room workouts. So it's completely customised to you and your abilities. So is there, and I'm this all or nothing, so I'm in it or I'm not. Yep. And that's what my wife actually said to me last night. She goes, you go to extremes, is there, <laughs> is there common ground where you can sort of sit, like I heard you say, three, three times a week. Um, is there any regular diet or training that we need to be consistent with or is it? Do what you feel. It's being consistent, and but it's not about um, committing to something that you can't do. So say if I sent you a six-day training program, but you only have the availability to train four days a week, you're not going to stick to that, are you? So right. it's about fitting something into your lifestyle that you can comfortably do consistently and achieve results. It's kind of being honest with yourself, though, isn't it? Exactly. Like, you know, not telling yourself a porky pie that you're going to commit to yeah. being full throttle, because yeah. I know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you already spoke about having beers with oh. me. Yeah. <laughs> 
So obviously he loves a beer and pizza was the other thing he's pizza, been there as well too. Uh, anything, anything I can get my hands on, I'll eat. So. so you don't want to take all of that away. Like it's no, not a strict no. diet. So it's that flexible dieting, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So all of the nutrition plans are based on flexible dieting. So mm. what that is, is a nutritional approach and it's based all on balance. So 80% of your diet should come from whole nutritious foods yeah. and then we can leave 20% up for your more processed treat mm. foods. Mm. Do you alcohol, have recommendations on type of alcohol and all that kind of thing too? <laughs> exactly. You, you'll actually receive full ebooks on alcohol and fat loss. Yep. Okay. So it's all about how to fit alcohol into your diet without affecting your progress. Yeah, exactly. So like vodka being better than beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, I mean, you're probably not going to go for like a Shirley Temple or a Mai Tai. We're going to stick to like low That's Straight up your alley. <laughs> <That's just laughs> lemonade. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to stick to... Uh, more so like vodka soda or low carb beers are okay. obviously going to be better options yeah. and they're not going to really blow out your diet too no, much. No well. wine? Wine? You can fit anything into your diet, but okay. it's about accounting for yeah. it. So You've got to kind of make sacrifices throughout the rest exactly. of the day. Exactly. Yeah. So for example, like for breakfast, your normal breakfast might be to have toast with eggs and avocado and those sorts of things. It might be taking away a piece of toast or taking away some toast. What about if you don't have breakfast? Well, that's the thing. We're going to set you up with how you should be eating. Yeah, perfect. And that, it's about sticking to that, being consistent and learning new healthy habits that are going to become your lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. Great. So the work that you do at the Mental League at the moment, you've got quite a few old footballers in there as well too. So you kind of, you kind of be able to make a little pact as well and get in training because you've got a gym not far from where you work. Yeah, exactly right. And that's... Um because we're based with 45 committees around Australia at the moment, all these guys, I've, I've told them about the program that's coming online and they're all pretty awesome. excited about that. Yep. And like, like you were saying, that anyone can do it. So it's, Anyone can do it. Yeah, so I, th I think yep. I've got a bit of support there from the boys and, and the women that are involved now, so it's um, going to be good. And talking about support, support is so important, as we all know, when you're, when you're trying to make a lifestyle change or improve your health and fitness. And we actually have a Facebook group that's going to be completely based on giving you all the support you need. So we have our body science experts that help to develop the program. They're gonna be doing live chats and you also have the opportunity to talk to other people who are doing the program. So it's gonna keep motivation high. You've got a chance to ask any questions that you have and basically keep you on track. Yeah, that's great. That's, yeah. It's a big thing we talk about now is that, yeah, as long as they, they're able to communicate with... Exactly, like yeah. If I've got their hand there, get ready for midnight for <laughs> I'm eating in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we need to get your padlock. Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. I actually get those messages all the time, so it's not going to be any different, so that's fine. <laughs> if you can fit in your fridge, your fridge is too big, mate. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Right. So do you have any other questions about it? Is there any other sort of hurdles or obstacles or... Yeah, a big obstacle for me is, as we said, Renee's mentioned, injuries. Like, yes. um I, st I still can't do push-ups or anything with my arm and, yep. and physical exercise is, is a big thing for me and that's that's where I've really struggled that going from being physically lifting anything and doing a lot of exercise outdoors that I don't do that now so I've, I've stuck to trying to ride a bike or run and yeah. run so out my side that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we can easily make changes to your training plan uh, just by swapping out potential um, exercises that you can't do with uh, more cardio or exercises that you can do. Okay. So it, it's completely easy to customise your, your plan to you and your abilities. For yeah. example, you can now do one arm push ups, so that you've got two arms. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, there's an excuse now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the broken neck side. Yeah. Oh, and and so. Okay, so a broken <laughs> neck as well, too. So you've done some decent damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what I, used to, I suppose you find with most of the footy boys that they're, they're all struggling, like everyday people. They're, everyone's got some ability or disability that they, they can't do something. So um, that's mainly why I got involved is to prove to other people that everything's possible. Um, and a lot of people use these things as excuses as well, but which I have. there yeah. really <laughs> is a way to train around these things and safely as well. So yeah. it's important to just not give up. We've got to keep going and we can definitely work around And so, these and so the, the training programs are related for indoors and outdoors, so gyms and and outdoor exercise. Exactly. You choose what you have access to. So okay. if you don't have access to a gym, then you can do the home training plan. Yeah. So yeah. with the amount of travelling you're doing, for example, there's hotel training sessions and, and whatnot as well too. Yeah. Does that rely on the pub? Oh, no, <laughs> 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 it's a bicep curl in every yeah. scooter. Book. <laughs> but um, it's, it's probably one thing I, I think about is that, because it's 12 weeks, what about if 
I lose the body the body fat that I want to do and, and I want to change the program into muscle building. Yep. Is there we can change halfway through or is it Exactly. It? So you would just go through and complete the questionnaire again. Yeah. Um and then you would receive a nutrition and training plan suited towards muscle building instead. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's good. So that yeah. was my big concern is that and a lot if, of people, if I do lose enough yeah, weight, I don't have much exactly. time. Exactly. A lot of people will be in the same boat as you, whereas they, they want to lose some body fat first and then get focused on, on building muscle. Yeah. So that's, that's completely fine as well. Perfect. So in 12 weeks, what are you committing to? How many days a week? Uh, I think I said five. Yeah, five, because my weekends are really important with my girls, so I'll still be exercising. I think that's a really good commitment, and mm. it's something that you can do consistently, yeah. and that's going to be the most important thing in, in achieving the results that you want. Yeah, well, it's, um, yeah it's, like you said, it's consistency. So, yeah, doing that, and I, w I was tempted to say seven days a week because I really want to change my body, and, but, yeah, reality is... And it's you've got two young daughters so yeah, you, know, you still want to spend time with, thing. plus your wife. So it's and you need no. time to recover as well. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean that, Renee. No. <laughs> yeah, you need time to recover. You can't just train seven days a week consistently. It's about having time to rest and recover, and that's when the real changes do take place with your body as well. Your yeah. body has a chance to, to rebuild and get stronger. Okay. That's good. It's, you said it's stronger. It's... Um, for me, I think it's more my mind getting stronger than anything else. As yes. you can see, I'm not confident now for the size I am. So hope, hopefully in 12 weeks' time, I'll be totally different. And I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking you for billows when you leave. This yeah. week. <laughs> There's one already under there. Um, and it's actually wonders what a routine can do for the mindset as well. So um, right now, it sounds like you don't really have that routine that's that's... You're, you're consistently sticking to throughout the day. So by helping you build a new healthy routine, uh, it'll definitely help with the mindset so as well. Do you say that, uh, is it the food intake or the training that's more important or is it a combination of both? Combination of both, okay. definitely. Okay. Yes. I'm just going to zip my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you'll actually be surprised with the amount of food um, on the programs and it's really delicious food mm. as well. Uh, dessert. Um, I've been looking at those bars the whole time thinking, oh, well, they're in there. They're, they're good to go. Exactly. And they're going to be in the program. But thank you very much for joining us today, Brossy. Uh, we're going to see you in 12 weeks. Plus, we're also going to watch your progress as we go, too. I can't wait. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> and thank you, Holly, as well, too. Thank you. Best of luck, Benny. Thanks. Yeah.